everybody, hi, how's it going? Isn't my hat pretty? So the last videos I put up were the vlogs from the Mara Luna Festival, one of the biggest goth and alternative festivals on earth. And I know that after I go to these festivals, lots of you love to see like the stuff that I bought from there. I feel like I'm getting a little bit tired of doing like haul videos and just showing things all the time. I don't know. I want to get onto some of the like more cool, interesting ideas for videos that I have. But anyway, like the vendors at Mara Luna had some epic stuff. I didn't get a heck of a lot of time to walk around and look at everything very much, but I did visit my usual favourites. I think I picked up some really cool stuff and I'm excited to show those things to you today. I feel like all I can look at is my like ginger regrowth on the side of my head. I need to shave that again. And now that I've pointed it out, you can notice it too. Great! <laughs> I think we'll start with the most obvious thing, which is this exquisite piece of art that I'm wearing on my head. If you saw the vlogs, you'll know that I got to model for one of my favorite designers, Vie Noir, an Italian designer. She makes exquisitely beautiful things. It was such an honor to be able to model for Vie Noir, so I've got a couple of things to show you from Vie Noir. Just, oh, okay, anyway, we'll start with the hat. So it's, it's, this one's beautiful. I love this headpiece. I love her headpieces. They are beautiful. I like the shape of this one, this sort of slightly star shaped one. And I also like how this one doesn't do up underneath. Like it doesn't have a band to tie it up at the back of your head. It just sort of clings to the side of your head. Beautiful beadwork. It's, oh God. Wearing things like this just really makes me want to go somewhere beautiful and take some photographs. Like I have so many nice ideas for photographs. I just simply don't have the self-esteem to think that I look good in them. <laughs> Something that looks epic with this hat. And I must say, if you want to look like instant royalty, then you just put on one of these collars, okay? Um, a lot of people are wearing the collars from Vie Noir at festivals. You sort of, they're really striking, they really stand out. And I've got another one. Let's just tie this on so I can give you an idea of the, the shape. There we go. Isn't that exquisite? Holy shit, I love the shape of this collar, this like pointed kind of vampire shape. This plus this and a nice dress, I feel like an instant queen. Look at the little sparkly lacy details, ugh. Oh. Yeah, I want to go somewhere beautiful and take some beautiful photos wearing these things. Ah, oh, I can't get over. I will, I will of course link to her Etsy shop below. She does sell her stuff on Etsy and can make custom things too. A couple more things to show you. I'm going to save the thing that I think is the coolest for last. This is also a necklace. I know I'm already wearing a necklace, but this one's nicer. Actually, this would like exactly match this headpiece. I got to wear a little necklace like this during the fashion show. It's so elegant, it's so lovely. For a long time, I have wanted a kokoshnik. I've been, okay, I'm a big hat fan, maybe you've realized. I love hats, I've always loved hats. I used to try and make hats, but I wasn't very good at it. So now I'll just leave it up to people who know what they're doing. So the final thing that I've got from Vie Noir to show you is this kokoshnik. Isn't it fucking lovely? Holy shit! Let's take take a moment here just to appreciate its beauty in detail. It's velvet too. It's velvet. And the back is embossed velvet. Like even the back is pretty. So yeah, this also goes on here like this. I feel like these are such a treasure. I think they just look beautiful sitting on my wardrobe. And I cannot wait for my next occasion where I get to wear this. I want to wear this. I want to wear this Kokoshnik. So bad. Anyway, coming down, the store next to Vide Noir was called Ray Gothica. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it was in my vlog and I'll, I'll link it below if I can find it online for you. And that is where I got this necklace from. Well, I guess it's like a choker, isn't it? Oh. Big, heavy, sparkly, beaded chain choker with bats hanging off it. So elegant, that's really beautiful. I feel like I've just got so many beautiful things that I got to take home from Maryluna this time. I wish I'd had more time to go around the shops, but I was, you know, chatting to people <laughs> the entire time. Um, also jewelry, I'm afraid I don't know who the vendor was, but um, again, in my vlog, you saw them because I, I was excited when I found them. I got this ring. It's a little mini fake cat skull. It's so cool. I really, really liked that. From the same person, this little pair of earrings with little bird skulls. I guess they're like miniature raven skulls or something. I just thought they were sweet and cute and quite realistic. I feel like I'm gonna wear these earrings a lot. I need more holes in my ears to accommodate all my pretty earrings. <laughs> also in the realm of small but lovely things, I visited Parfume Noir. This is like such a goth perfume brand, it really is. I'm a big fan of Parfume Noir. I have like a little collection going on. Let me, let me, I can see it from here. I have like seven bottles of Parfume Noir. I think 
are mostly big ones. This is one of the small bottles. Um, Matthias also has a couple. I don't know why I hadn't discovered this one before. It's called Incubus Succubus and it's patchouli with sandalwood. It's so lovely. I was really tossing up between this one and one that was patchouli with Weihrauch, which is, I guess, like... <laughs> I don't actually know what the Weihrauch is in English. I guess it's like, you know, that incense that you get in churches. Oh, it's so just, it's so dark and lovely. Really nice. So I just got a little bottle. Puffy Noir does have its own website, but I think like it's, you can also get it like Wonderland 13. I'm pretty sure they sell it there. Um, and I'm pretty sure Wonderland 13 ships internationally, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they do. And I mentioned Wonderland 13 because I got something from there too. I've already worn these out into the city so they don't look brand new anymore, but this is a pair of shoes by Killstar that I got from Wonderland 13. I'd seen these on the internet, like I'm just desperately in love with all the new Killstar shoes. I already have a couple of Killstar shoes already and I wear them heaps and they're incredibly good and they're really comfortable. Uh, so I was pretty excited when I saw these ones. I guess they're meant to be like pikes. They're really flat, they're quite pointed and they're also sandals. And I've been in the market for some sandals, just some kind of like light summer strappy shoes and so these ones were pretty perfect. Let's have a look. I believe these are called Banshee Flats. Like my mum saw them as well and said, oh my god, those are like perfect for you. The final thing that I picked up from Mariluna, I was wearing it in my vlog, perhaps you noticed, but otherwise here's a good better look at it. You know that I usually visit like Flats Art, it's the shop you'll see in my vlogs with all like the little cute fluffy bats and stuff. And from there in the past I've bought those little fluffy plush bat cushions. I'd seen this scarf at Amphi, at the Amphi Festival, and it was so cute but I didn't have any cash really, so I was able to get Get it at Mira Luna and I'm so happy because look how cute this is. But like we're coming into the start of September, it's the leaves are already starting to turn orange, it's gonna get cold and I know that I'm gonna get heaps of wear out of this. It's a scarf with bat wings and it's so warm and it was freezing cold at Mira Luna so I was really really thankful to have it. I also just want to say an enormous thank you to- hang on a sec. While I was walking around and meeting people, like a few of you gave me some little gifts I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who gave me a little gift. Like, you didn't have to do that in the form of handmade jewellery. Someone gave me makeup. I got sweets and Jaffa cakes and, and a painting. And, like, you guys are fucking amazing, okay? There are so many talented people out there amongst you. I see you there. I know. And getting a little, like, heartfelt handmade gifts is just oh, it's so nice and heartwarming and makes me feel really special. So, like, thank you so much to you if you were one of those people. And just everybody that I met there at Mariluna, fuck, I met so many of you. I met so many cool, amazing, interesting people. It was such a crazy big weekend. And I hope to see you all there again next year. I hope to see as many of you as possible at next year at Mariluna. And we just have to all pray to the entire pantheon of weather gods that it won't rain next year, because that sucked. <laughs> Do you tell me what you think was the coolest thing that I picked up from Mariluna? Because I really couldn't say which thing was my favourite. Maybe the Kokoshnik? Maybe just this hat? Maybe this... Oh, I, don't, I don't... I don't know. I think I did pretty well. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope you did enjoy the vlogs from Mariluna too. And one day I am saving up. I want to get a camera or an external microphone or something so that I can film live bands at these things that doesn't just sound like... <laughs> it would be so great because I want to be able to like film live bands and concerts and festivals and stuff. Better. So, anyway, as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time.